fixes over time And every imperfection is a lie Or at least an interruption Now hold on, let me finish No, I'm not saying perfect exists in this life We are approaching Dead by Daylight's 8th anniversary. How crazy is that? 8 years of killing and surviving and toxicity and wholesomeness. I adore Dead by Daylight. It's easily my favorite game I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of. But it's far from perfect. And I wanted to ask as many people as I could get my hands on. A health update. Better anti-cheat. A better anti-slugging mechanic. Some sort of new mechanic to change the base game. More ways to play the game. More simple killers. I think they should be adding in more modes. Brenda Meeks from Scary Movie. Obviously more game modes. A Dead by Daylight and Don't Starve crossover. Gremlins. Some sort of incentive to not tunnel. I think having a small proximity chat would be really funny. Like the Chaos sh Shuffle, they should be at least available to do in customs, yeah, with your friends. It'd be cool if they get, gave the ability um, to randomize your perks in game, kind of like how those challenges were. Uh, cosmetic collections like from Rainbow Six. Probably just some perks that incentivize different kind of gameplay. Better form of like pre-lobby communication. I think they should be adding more permanent modes. I will add like more emotes. They really need to add the guy from uh, that one property that I like. Dune? No, no, no. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet would be pretty sick though. More incentive to use the lesser used perks. Nerfing survivors a little bit. They have a lot of uncounterable things in my opinion. Myers tombstone add-ons. I would probably remove double pilots from the game entirely. Gen regression and gen boosting. I think we just have to remove the expectation of balance in my opinion, yeah. right? We have to accept that the game will not will never be fair. Let me just check which killers I don't like. <laughs> Perks? Like, I'd love to see totem spawns getting changed. Map offerings. I'm drawing a blank, I'm sorry. It's uh, okay, it's okay. Definitely remove the stupid speed slowdown uh, coming out of a cam with singularity when he's nearby a hook. I think it's very stupid. Pinhead, he's ugly, I don't like him. He's gross. He has chains. I'm not into that. A school merchant. <laughs> My like immediate answer is like school merchant. School merchant. I'd probably say the feature where if another survivor is nearby when you're on hook and the anti base camp doesn't fill up. I would have to say knockout. Stuff like a uh, knockout and background player. What would I remove? Oh, I, actually, I don't know why I'm even thinking about this. this is easy. The fucking stupid tiered perks. Um, Chaos Shuffle, I think, in particular, shows how there's like a handful of these really strong perks and items on both sides that aren't healthy. Legion. Mainly the Irish, but if I can't go with that... There's just Deathslinger. Isn't, isn't Deathslinger... Is Deathslinger no, the Irish, Irish player base. Oh. I want to say tunneling, but then at the same time, I don't know why killers do it. I would remove Pinhead. <laughs> I'm joking. As much as I don't like Pinhead from both a killer and a survivor standpoint, I don't want anything removed from my game. Brian, lower toxicity because it's really high. I cannot tell you how many times I've been called slurs just by playing the game. They should change how they do their buffs and nerfs and stop doing it by only analytics. They should look at the analytics alongside community feedback. Because, like, my first idea was to make, like, the three-gen mechanic activate when there's, like, I'd say two gens left. Their attitude towards add-ons. I would change the way skill-based matchmaking currently works because it's almost, it's almost like a worst ranked mode right now. I really wish that the filter was a little bit more customizable. I think being able to see your teammates' perks, I think, is is pertinent. The repetitiveness, like, I'd probably add more things to do in the trial, other than just do gens. I would love to see more uniqueness with each survivor, so something that, like, 
gameplay wise or something sets them apart I'd probably go back to unreal engine 4 because getting onto unreal engine 5 the only real reason why games need to be on unreal engine 5 is to get hyper realistic and i quite like the unique uh art style of dead by daylight and how it's a lot different to other games i would change the mechanics behind break the walls personally um i enjoy making choices and forcing the other side to react to said choices the most in dbd and right now a majority of loops with breakable walls are either just like a must break that you got to get out of the way right now because it is going to like make the loop excruciatingly strong if you don't break it or it's a door you should never touch never never touch it never break it it's going to create a god loop no 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 so then what's the point of breakable walls then you know like to punish new killers for breaking a wall that prevents a god loop and just waste time breaking a wall to have a manageable loop in its current state i would absolutely change the tutorial system because the game is constantly getting bigger and there's also still the occasional macro killer that completely confuses new players such as um the, the very recent most recent one being skull merchant which almost the whole community is confused in how her power works but there's also other killers who are solo queue stompers, such as Sadako, Pinhead, and sometimes, and surprisingly, even Freddy Krueger too. So I would most mostly change the tutorial system to more or less aid new players, and even incorporate um, some of the um, little shorts that they were created on their YouTube channel and their Instagram accounts for tips and tricks. They should incorporate all of that into their tutorial system. The dev team's priorities, I think. Uh, Plague has been bugged for months and they haven't said anything about it. They haven't fixed her. Um, so she's just a buggy character and a horrible killer to go against because she doesn't have any of like the normal uh, moves and like actionables that she does when she's like about to, you know, attack you and stuff. My main character that I play is, that is Pyramid Head and he just have two add-ons. <laughs> I just have two range atoms and like I see that uh, other killers they have so many atoms they have like I think I would take um anonymous mode out or actually keep anonymous mode but don't allow them to talk in then game chat I think that's the one thing that I would change maybe just add more tiers to the battle pass that I think that's pretty much all I would change just add more cosmetics and whatnot I think just a general polish update would be good. Main thing I would change is go through like every, mainly on the killer side, and just get rid of a bunch of the empty bloat, specifically in the add-ons that does not need to be there. Um, currently, I think the points and emblem system is really outdated and competitive for what is, I mean, basically just horror tag. Um, some characters can completely lose out on pipping, like my main. Ghostface does not get chase points played ideally. He ambushes, he doesn't chase a lot. Uh, that can naturally support killer sweat. Survivors also always make way less blood points around than a killer, or sometimes don't pip at all if they're taken out of the game, which promotes a lot of survivor sweat. You, you basically have to be Superman, quote unquote, do a bunch of stuff. Um, in addition, the game is also very stingy with blood points outside of events which I think can become really sweaty. And they tend to have people like really aggressively push to get as many blood points as possible. And all this when the blood point cap is only like 2 million. That's I think that's way too low. I understand why they capped it, but I think it's too low. So I think they really need to change the emblem system to normalize blood point gain, up that gain in general, maybe reward hooks and power use and survival time and teamwork over like kills versus escapes, and then make it so like all the pit levels are about the same difficulty to kind of make it a little more casual so people aren't feeling like they have to sweat to get something out of the month. I will play more around like game modes than the normal game because it feels different. So I will add more game modes or modifiers. I find it incredibly unacceptable, by the way, that the album, like the, the, the Apple Music Top 100 albums has fucking... Are you kidding me? They put Blonde... They put Blonde by Frank Ocean in top 10. They put it five, five minutes later. Billie Eilish at number 30. I fuck with Billie Eilish. I wiggle my finger to some of her tunes. Number 30? I would accept like 87. One change, get rid of that annoying blood point cap because there's no you point to it anymore.
I would quite like to see more reworks like the Skull Merchant, where they basically rework how the power works, but not to the extent that it's too overpowered that they need to nerf them back to the ground and nobody plays them anymore. I would like more of the Forgotten Garden collection. I think that there is some way to get rid of that filter, and it's up to them by daily devs of what path they take. They've been taking the game towards a really, really, really amazing route, and I really love the changes that they've made, uh, and I trust them that they're going to take this game to a really, really good state. For all you people, just try to enjoy the game for what it is, and don't take it too seriously. Um... No, nothing comes to mind. If, all, if I was make my dream Dead by Daylight update, there would be no new killers, no new survivors, just a complete bug fix update with probably a lot of perk adjustments. Um, but there are other things that they're trying to bring back because the game is different that I don't think should be back, like the double pallets. When they introduced Greenville and I saw the double pallets, I thought there's no way this is supposed to be this way, right? Right? I think DVD's in a really great state right now. I think the the fact that the fact that there's that uh, that mystery mode that is just a lot of fun and it's very healthy for the game. I hope they keep that. Um, you know, I know that they extended it, which is great, and I I'm really excited for two v eight, and I hope that I hope the devs kind of understand that that we've been wanting this for a long time, and hopefully they don't make it time limited for too long and see. Hopefully they can do something really amazing with it, you know? Uh, I do def definitely um, hope they continue the streak of reworking maps, reworking a lot of really bad perks, making them fun to use and all that stuff. And I do hope um, with the incorporation of the modifiers that gives their team somewhat time to fix the base game mode and not having every single player feel that they have to have fun only by winning that's that's mostly what i hope for the future that they can be able to fix that really gruesome incentive to just feel like they need to win to only to have fun be nicer i guess during end game um if you're at the x gate just leave if the killers like don't bm you know unnecessarily i think it's like fun if it's playful but i don't know i i feel like db should be more chill uh, definitely, like, it's still cool, but it's sad that it, usually I'm playing like, less and less every time. So, we need more fun and more goofiness into the game. Well, let me think of my icon, one of my iconic one-liners. I just, uh, okay, maybe, like, they could do some tweaks here and there. Mm, in, in the kit of, like, some killers. I'm looking forward to the new chapter final thoughts i don't know you should let me make a thumbnail soon um i'm sick so my voice sounds like shit yes subscribe to twins main sage or otherwise i will break into your house and steal all of your chocolate no they're gonna think i made you say that say that <laughs> here uh go ahead and put this part in the interview <laughs> i swear sage is not forcing me to say any of this please <laughs> please believe me <laughs> Um, I don't like to think it hurts my head. If you're struggling at something, don't give up. Struggling at a killer or struggling at Survivor in general, it takes a lot of time to get good and a lot of practice, so just keep trying to learn and improve, and that's something even I struggle with. I think for most people, killer strength doesn't ultimately matter. We're all pretty mid, let's be honest, so I think play whom you like and get whoever good at whoever you like. That's kind of the best policy. Find somebody that you enjoy, focus on them, commit, and just kind of try to get good at them before anyone else. And just kind of don't mind what other people say about it, even if they're like, oh, that killer is annoying. Oh, that survivor strat's annoying. Play what you like. There's a serious consideration of, of what you're nerfing and what you're buffing and what you're adding and what you're changing. And, you know, and if I move the equalizer up this way, you know, then this part of the equalizer goes down. If my mids go up, then my highs go down, you know, and so on and so <laughs> forth. So I think, so I think, um, so I think as a parting thought, I think we, we do have to understand and accept that the game is is not going to be balanced and the game is not going to be fair right and we have to and we just have to accept that there are things about playing survivor that are just not fair and there are things about playing killer that are just not fair right but it's it's the same checklist but we're checking off different things that's all it is and we have to accept that i think